going, buddy? I'm good. Are you looking for a church this Easter? Looking for a what? Like a church to come to this Easter? What kind of church? Oh, uh, we're at DCF. We're at the church here at UF. Oh, okay. Uh, Easter? When, uh, when's that? I don't even know Easter is this Sunday. Okay. And what's going on there? Uh, we have two services. We're going to have a sunrise service at uh, uh, Lake Alice, and then we're going to have a regular service at Park Field. We have two options. Seems like it's going to be really good. There's some good speakers. You see good? Is that your sign over there? Yeah, it's over there. Oh. What if you're an atheist? You can have service for atheists? No. No. It'll be about uh, the resurrection of Jesus. Do you actually think that happened? Yeah. Why did you do that? Do you know when the resurrection of Jesus happened? Well, the Bible looks like how Jesus came up and back by the sun. It's going to have nothing thanks to the sun. Right, but well, why do you believe that that actually happened? Why do I believe that happened? Yeah, why do you believe that actually happened? You just have to have faith, you know? Do you think faith is a way of knowing anything? Can two people have a contradictory view on something and both use faith and somehow arrive at the correct answer? I mean, to some extent, yes, but... You do? I would believe that, yeah, but I also believe that, you know, we just need to come to our God and understand that, you know, He's the right path. Like, I've seen it so many ways in my own life that... Okay. For someone who doesn't believe, how would you explain to them what a God is and why should they believe in one? If you don't mind me asking. You believe in a God, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever considered to ask yourself what it is you believe in? I mean, I just believe that there's a God above us who created us perfectly just to live in like his will and his desire. Okay. And why? Because someone told you to? I mean, I've heard it from others. Yeah, but I, it's something different like than just hearing from others. It's like me coming to myself and realizing like I'm imperfect, but it's also important to realize that God knows that and he can use us in every way to make us more perfect. But what, if someone who doesn't believe in a God and doesn't believe in those things, how would you convince them? I mean, I don't believe in a God. What can you say to convince me that maybe what you're saying has some validity to it? Because I don't believe the Bible says. The Bible's written by a bunch of men. It was edited over time. Books were swapped out and stuff like that. So why should I actually, why should I believe in any of that stuff? I mean, I know I've been exactly in your predicament, but I just haven't believed it. I, mm -hmm. I, I know where you're coming from. I know in high school, I definitely believed a lot of those things. But it's just hearing the stories and then knowing like how similar some of the stories can sound to your life. It's kind of like just realizing how God's using you in similar ways. Um, to come and but, come in there. but why should I believe that any God is doing anything? You never really thought about this in time before. I guess I haven't, but I still strongly believe. Is, do you know what truth is? Mm -hmm. Truth is the degree to which a statement corresponds with reality. So when someone told you that God exists and the Christian bot, God is the one that actually exists, they made a statement about truth. It's not an opinion. Because when you try to state something that's true, that something is real in reality, you're making a true statement, not an opinion. So when someone tells you a true statement, like that, that the statement they want to be is true, it's, it's important to know how true it is, by how true it is, by how much it's reflected in reality, like, which is why we look for evidence, because we want evidence to show that, okay, is what this person's saying true? What evidence do we have to go by, besides them just saying so, showing that it's true? So if you've never looked into it, like you said, you never really thought about these kind of things, is the truth important to you? Yeah. So if someone told you that there's God and here you are handing out pamphlets and supporting the Christian church, don't you think it's important to be able to answer those kind of questions? Yeah. I guess there's things I'll start thinking about. Do you know much about the Bible? Yeah. Do you know what it says at 1 Peter 3.15? I'm thinking of that specific okay. Okay. That's, uh, I don't know, I don't have it memorized either. It's just I have the ones that I like to discuss with. In there, it says to be ready to give responses to people, ask you questions about your religion. 
I don't know the exact wording, but it's something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to do that, you have to actually know the answers to the questions that people ask you. Mm -hmm. And if someone asks you, well, why should I believe in a God? What is a God? You know, what kind of being is it? What is it made of? Where does it live? And if we don't know these things, then how do we know it's real? How do we know it exists? And when you introduce things like, well, my life, this, these events in my life, and, and I just interpret them as being, you know, from a God, is that really showing us that a God exists? Or are those just your internal ways of trying to interpret your experiences and your 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 attributing them to a to a deity of a Christian one at that? Do you really know that what you believe in is true? And, 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 and if you could, and if you did, shouldn't you be able to share that with someone else like me who doesn't believe? So that, that's my question. Can you even... Have you I, mean, I relatively know it, like, spreading the gospel, so I'm still learning, like, ways where I can turn my own experiences. Okay. Um, so... My suggestion would be to, to read some stuff, like uh, Sam Harris. He's a good author. Uh, Richard Dawkins. You may also want to go on YouTube and look up something like the Atheist Experience, Matt Dillahunty is pretty good. And what they do is they answer questions. They have callers like you call up with questions, and they give answers. So if you've never actually thought about it, I think a good place like there is to start with. with. Because I'm, I'm an unbeliever. I don't believe in any God. Just like I don't... And I, I can only be sure that there is no God, as I can be sure that there is no Tooth Fairy or Santa Claus, I can't say there is no God, just like I can't say there is no Tooth Fairy or Tinkerbell. Um, because I don't actually, I can't have evidence against those things existing. I'm just, no one's presented anything to show me that they're real. So, the only people you'll get through to are people who kind of already believe in a God. Maybe they're not swayed to your religion, maybe they believe in a God per se, and, and you can get them to believe in your God, but for someone who actually doesn't believe, in any god, you're, you're, you're kind of without weapons, if I can use that metaphor, yeah. unarmed, because logic and reason governs my worldview, and for anything anyone says exists anywhere, you, scientific evidence is required for anything, and there's no exceptions for that, but when it comes to religion, people like to try to make exceptions for that, and that's, that's bad, I think. What do you think? Well, I don't know. I choose to believe like all the evidence that I get for that mm -hmm. So I guess I can't really agree with the statements you're making right now. But I choose to... What if I told you that belief is not a choice? That you believe based on how well educated you are and your subconscious believes or doesn't believe? Can you repeat the question? Sorry. I'm sorry? Can you repeat the question? Well, it wasn't a question. What if I said that you don't choose to believe? Your belief is based on how well educated you are in the topic being covered. Would you would you acknowledge that? Or would you see that it's probably what it is? Because you can't believe to be you can't believe it. Can you make yourself believe the tinkerball right now? You couldn't, right? So if you couldn't do that. So if you couldn't do that, then belief is based on how well educated you are. And the more you read and more educate yourself the less chance you are to believe in things which are not substantiated. So if you've actually never looked into this and you've never actually looked at the questions I'm asking you, maybe you haven't explored why you should believe it to begin with thoroughly enough. Because if you can't answer my questions, then maybe maybe you don't have the answers. Maybe the advice you're giving isn't good. Thing I think about, but I'll definitely think about this ways I can grow in God, and I do hope you can grow in God. Hopefully, well, Maybe I don't believe in a God. I, don't I just hope somebody can come to you and like also help you realize these questions you have too, and help realize maybe like God is the answer. So, well, I don't, I don't believe in a God. So how can that ever happen? Someone actually have to show that the God exists for me to really care, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can hope that, but if I, if I just believed in your God, if I just, if I was able to actually just believe in your God if I wanted to. Would I actually be obtaining truth? Or would I just be obtaining your belief? Would I be going towards the truth? Or would I be going towards your belief? You can't say they're both the same thing. Because in order for them to be the same thing, 
you need to have evidence that anybody can test and see for themselves that it's true. So if you don't have that, which avenue am I going down? I care about the truth. So since I care about the truth, I can't get myself to believe in what you believe because it doesn't show to be true. I believe it to be more of like a faith kind of thing. Like you just have to trust in God. Right, right. right. And, then, and then we all back to uh, faith is that not really a way of knowing the truth about anything. Right? Because faith is, faith is without evidence. Faith is believing something even though you kind of know it doesn't. It's not, you can't really substantiate it. Because if you could substantiate it, then you would use that. You wouldn't use the word faith. But, oh, there's a God because X, Y, Z. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be using faith. So faith is kind of a cop out. My opinion. I mean, I guess these are just our different lines of thinking. Maybe they just don't align right now, but I can see where you're coming from, definitely. And I, I just hope maybe one day you can find the right way. Find the right way? Like find, you know, find, just hear about God and I'll understand that. Well, I, I, it, a guy, a guy would have to be evident. It would have to be. Shown to I just exist. hope he can make his way evident into your life. So well, you know, if, if God does exist and he, can, and he actually gives a shit about us and, and he doesn't want me to be an atheist, he can make me a believer like that, right? I mean, if he's all powerful, he can I mean, show himself. I guess we get to come to him, you know? Well, there's, where would I go to come to him? I mean, I don't believe in him. So how can I come to him? I have no reason to think it's true. If he really wanted, if this God really wants me to believe in something, why am I an, still an atheist? Why hasn't it done what it needs to do to make me believe? I know in the um, book of Romans, chapter 1, it does mention um, that God will only like kind of show his light to people who believe in him, and then it's also like a choice yeah. to come to him. Is that really, I mean, isn't that more of a, is it really sincere? Is it really honest, like people who already believe in him? What about the people who don't believe in him? Well, it's also like our goal as like, Christians to help him come to the community like right now and just come to... Explain the, but, the gospel to others. Okay, okay. With with hoping that people actually believe already. Because for people like me, what are you going to do? I care about logic and reason. I care about evidence. If you can't, have, if you don't have any of those things, if I have no reason to think, what, to know what you're talking about, and to know it's true, I will never believe. And I think that is the right path, to go by what shows to exist. I don't have any sacred beliefs, actually. There might have been a time when I believed something or didn't believe whatever, and and I took it apart with logic and reason. And if I ever have a belief that it's not substantiated, I'll get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think everyone should do. I think what you have is perhaps a sacred belief. You think this God is real. You you, you, you want to keep believing it. You want to do something to, 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 to you know, in an effort to substantiate to, to, to spread it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, I don't. I don't think that. I don't. I don't. I don't think you. You. You care. You might care. You might say you care about truth, but you're not really going about it because you're not using logic and reason. You're not. You don't have evidence, and you don't even know it's required. You think faith is good enough. What if someone? Who, what if someone who believes in a different God than yours says that their faith says that their God is real and yours isn't? You're both using faith. How can we determine who's right, who's wrong? Or maybe they're both wrong. Yeah, I guess these are questions I've asked myself, but I haven't really had the time to like really dive into these questions. Are you afraid to ask too many questions? Yeah, definitely not. Because I'm going to tell you something. Religious belief is embedded in emotion. Your emotions play, most likely, I'm assuming, play a large role and you keeping this religion. Until you learn to divorce, because facts don't care about emotion. Reality is the way it is. And whether you feel about something different about something or not, it's going to keep going the way it is. And your emotions don't change reality and facts. So once, once you realize that, once you realize that your emotions play no part in whether it's true or not, once you can shed religion, shed your emotions from your beliefs and look at them objectively and use logic and reason and say, I'm going to go with whatever shows to exist. I'm not going to care about how I feel about it. I want to know the truth, no matter how dark or how uneasy it makes me feel. Once you can do that, then you'll, you'll be happy and, and content in reality, even though 
It might not always be pretty, even though it might be, you know, once you're dead, you're dead. That might be uneasy. But there's no reason to think otherwise. And what you'll have is the truth. And that's one thing you deprive yourself of by positing a religion like this. You deny yourself the possibility that you could be wrong. I, I don't know what happens. I don't know, no, I don't know how everything came to be. And I'm okay with saying I don't know. There's nothing wrong with saying I don't know. I will say I know when I know. And that's honest, and I think that's good. And I think that sparks more inquiry. I think that sparks people to, to look for the answers. Because when you believe in a religion, I think that stops us from really pursuing the answers, at least some of us. I can, I don't know, I can also see where you're coming from, but I guess they're just different lines of thinking. Um, but I would recommend, you know, maybe people like to just at least come and see, like... Well, I see your website there, so if I'm interested, I'll take, I'll go to that site. Oh, okay. GatorChristianLife.com. Okay. Okay. Thanks, hope, man. But yeah, I don't know, I hope you can come see the light one day. But the light? The light. He hopes I can come to the light someday. He hopes I can come to the light one day. So we had that big long discussion, and he just says he hopes I come to the light one day. Like, that's it. Like, dude, did you just not hear the conversation we just had? I don't understand. All right, well, you guys enjoyed it. A little too cold for me to be out here today, but whatever. I guess that thing's picking up around here. I'm gonna try to edit the video here, see if I uh, see if I cannot screw it up. All right, guys. Um, you know what, guys? I saw someone the channel who had less subscribers than I do but he's got like some real time chat going on and he's like getting people to donate money to him uh do you guys think I can actually do something like that and how much work is that going to take I don't know I think I'm kind of lazy I just do videos once in a while like when I can and I post them. I don't know how much work that's going to take for it to be worth it. But uh, tell me what you guys think. A uh, peace and uh, whatever. <laughs>